Hi there and welcome to AI Generated Web Quests. This is Nelly Deutsch and I'm going to walk you through this free online professional development course on web quests and how you can create them very, very quickly with um, an AI generated tool called WebQuest Wizard. So let's get started with the different sections. This is a Moodle site. It's Moodle 4.4 and the theme is Move. The course layout is one topic for those of you who are curious. So let's look at the orientation, which is the first section. The next section is about the WebQuest and then live online meetings. Week one introduction the task, and these are the parts of a web quest, the process, resources, evaluation, conclusion, credits, and of course the final week is showcase and reflect. So notice there are four weeks and the weeks are divided by sections. So week one is one section, week two is notice three sections, task, process, and resources. Week three is also three sections, evaluation, conclusion, and credits. And week four is one section. If you'd like to know more about WebQuest, you can register now as of today and take a look at about WebQuest. You've got different platforms such as this one, Create WebQuest and Zunal. You might want to take a look at the WebQuest Wizard and try it out. You can choose um, the following locations for free. There's also a WebQuest template. So you can get lots of information by going into the WebQuest Wizard, which is a chat GPT. GPT that I created. Next, you'll be able to start the orientation. And notice what needs to be done. Under the uh, done, you'll see that it was just a view. You need to view this and take the survey. And then there's, if you haven't taken it already, if you've taken it, you don't need to take it a second time. And then there's edit your profile. There's a video and it's also view. So watch the video. It's important. And then what do you see, which is what I'm doing right now, you'll do from July 1st. So remember to come back here if you start the course elsewhere. And then uh, there's a video here, set links to open a new window, which is very important information how to save your digital badges, because there are 13 digital badges, and one final certificate, which is completely free and has 27 hours, which is more or less the amount of time that you'll be spending during the month of July. Let's go into um, the live online meetings. There is a meeting each week and the meeting is at 12 p.m. EST, and if you click on this, you'll be able to get your time zone. These are the Zoom meetings. If you click on this, you'll get the link. You'll have to register for these meetings. You'll be able to get a certificate for each meeting that you join with a duration written on the certificate, also completely free. And this is just an open discussion forum where you can uh, Add your takeaways after watching the recording of the uh, meeting. The introduction is week one. You'll be introducing yourself and learning about the platform. The two ways that you'll be introducing yourself. One is with either Voki, a Voki avatar, DID, or HeyGen, which are all AI video from a photo generators. There's also a presentation here that you'll be able to go through and take a look. And then the introduction to AI generated web quest course. And there's also a teaching perspectives inventory that you'll be able to take 
and share your reflections on the results. Week two is about the task, so notice introduction is the first part of a web quest. The task of the web quest is the second part. And you'll be learning more about that using ChatGPT, as I mentioned before, WebQuest Wizard, which I created specifically for you and for the course participants. It's completely free. And then there's the process, which is another part of the WebQuest resources evaluation. I'm not going to go through them, but you just get an idea of the uh, different parts of the WebQuest. And showcase and reflect. You'll be reflecting using Book Creator for each of uh, the sections. Any questions about the course, feel free to ask. You don't need to have any previous knowledge. You just need to have uh, an internet connection. You can use either your phone or the desktop. That's fine too.